I really hope that this helps some of you guys. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome back to my channel on this very fine Trans Tuesday. Today's episode of Trans Education continues on the holiday theme. Today I thought I would make a video on being forced into the closet if your family makes you wear a dress. Basically, I know for a lot of trans teenagers, especially if you are out and you don't have a very accepting family or you're not out, you can't dress appropriately to the way that you identify or the way that you like to dress. And being forced into clothes that you are not comfortable in is very, very invalidating and can be very detrimental to a... Okay, thanks mom. It can be really detrimental to be forced into clothes that you are not comfortable with or clothes of the opposite gender. Not being able to dress comfortably, especially for the holidays, which is a very, like, high time for suicidality and seasonal depression, can be very, very bad, especially for trans people, because our identities are very, very sensitive in the first place, and then just to add it on to family that does not accept you and being around people who invalidate your entire existence. There were a few years after I came out, well, came out to myself and tried to come out to my family where my family was very set on having me dress feminine and they did not want me to dress masculine in any sense. So I remember distinctly on Christmas Eve of 2011 we went to see Wicked in Detroit and I had to wear very feminine clothing and I was very, very, very uncomfortable. But I think I have some important things for you guys to remember if you are forced to dress feminine or forced to wear a dress during the holidays or being around family who invalidates you and does not support you. First things first is that you're still a guy, you are still male, you are still who you identify as even if you have to wear a dress to please your family, even if you have to wear a dress to make your family happy or like if they are making you wear a dress. You're still a guy. Even though they're making you dress like that, your clothes do not define your gender, and I think that's something very important that you have to remember, is that while you are very uncomfortable dressing like that, it does not invalidate who you are. And I think that kind of leads into my next point, which is you don't have to conform. There are trans men out there who enjoy wearing dresses, and that's perfectly fine, and that's great. And if you enjoy wearing a dress but are worried about the validation of your identity, or it's one of those things where your parents are making you wear a dress, you can realize that, oh, you're still a guy. Just because you're wearing something feminine doesn't mean that you're not who you are. And it's important to remember that even while you're wearing this dress or this skirt or something very feminine, you're still a man. You are still... A, I, I don't know another word for that, because, like, you're a guy, you're a man, like... You identify as a man? Great, you're a man. That doesn't matter what you wear. I feel like especially if you're in your late teen years or if even you're an adult and your parents or family are trying to force you into traditional, f traditionally feminine molds that you do not want to be in, stick it to them. Call them out. Be like, this is bullshit. And like, if you're old enough to decide for yourself and like decipher what you want to wear, they can't control what you wear. They, you are your own person and you get to wear what you want to wear and they don't have a right to control that especially if you're over 18 even if you're still living in their house you are an adult and you can wear what you want to wear I feel like there are certain things that you probably should like stick by like nothing like too revealing or gross but like if you want to wear a suit and not a dress for Christmas Day like or to go to church on Christmas do it they can't control you you are an adult they do not have control over you. As much as you are living in their house, there are rules that you have to follow, but clothes is not one of them. As long as clothes are not offensive, I don't see a problem with saying, hey, screw you, I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. And then there's the area of being forced into a closet where there's constant misgendering and invalidation during the holidays, where your parents introduce you to friends or extended family as a she, as a girl. They're like, hey, this is my daughter, so-and-so, and use wrong pronouns, wrong name, wrong everything. And that can be a very, very, very difficult situation. I don't believe I have enough knowledge in myself to address that, because after I came out, my parents, in our Christmas card, I believe in 2012, my parents wrote a very, very detailed, long letter and sent it to everybody that received a Christmas card from us, and the letter basically said, Riley is going through a transition, 
she is now he, he uses the name Riley and male pronouns, we are respecting his life decisions, and they said life decisions because they don't want to, like, obviously go into a Christmas letter, like, explaining how it's not a decision and all of that, but they send this long, detailed letter out saying, we are supportive, and we are using these pronouns, and if you see us, you also need to respect that, and if you do not respect that, we will not be part of your life anymore, and I am very, very blessed to have a family that would do something like that for me. So basically, my entire extended family knew, and after that was Christmas of 2012, everybody knew. If you do not have parents that are supportive in that sense, and they misgender you and introduce you to people wrong, I don't have enough knowledge to address on that from a personal experience. I would suggest looking to other YouTubers, other trans people on the internet, trying to see if there's anybody that can relate to you in that sense if that's the situation that you're dealing with, because I don't have enough knowledge on what that's like to give you advice on it. I think that's about all I have about being forced in the closet on holidays. If you guys think of anything else that I could add to this video or make another video on, please comment that down below and let me know and contact me in some way, shape, or form so I can make a video on it. If this video helped you, I would really appreciate a thumbs up or a like because it makes my life a lot cooler and I think that it shows that, hey, I'm not the only one out there, you're not the only one out there, so if you see other people that are liking this video, you know you're not alone. And as always, you can make sure to subscribe if you want. I post a video every Tuesday and every Thursday on this channel. Tuesdays are Trans Tuesdays, which means there's always a brand new episode of Hashtag Trans Education. And then Thursdays are different main channel videos scattered about in categories. Before I go, I want to make sure to restate that there is a website called YourHolidayMom.com. And what they do is it's parents and mothers who write letters to you up until the holidays, like through the holidays, if you do not have a supportive family. It's for youth and adults, and you can go and find a sponsor, I guess you'd call it, and they will sit, pair you with a parent or a mom, and they'll just send you letters and words of love and support throughout the holidays. So if you don't have a supportive family, you've got someone's support, and I think it's very cool. So again, that's yourholidaymom.com. They're not sponsoring me, and they're not telling me to say this. I just think it's a very, very, very cool thing that they do for people who don't have that kind of support. And on a little side note that doesn't have to do with trans education, I am still doing my gift keyboard giveaway. Uh, the video is titled Best iPhone App Ever, and I'm really, really close to the next giveaway, so make sure you go watch that video, Best iPhone App Ever. The link will be in the description to the video, and you can watch the video, read the description, and find out the details to enter, and I'd love to give you some stuff. So, yeah. That's all I have for today's episode of Hashtag Trans Education. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on Thursday. Love you guys. Bye!